we, we are going to discuss today six tools, and I don't know, there might be seven or eight in here, Kevin, that Brivity offers that our teams, our place teams, Ben Kinney teams, that we use pretty extensively and really lean into when we go out and do a listing appointment or we're meeting with the seller. Some of these tools, Kevin, are things that we just always kind of have in play and our sellers come across them. And, you know, Kevin, you're, you're, you're a real estate agent. You're out there every day. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I know recently you had a, a big listing down there in Austin and like you are always, no matter when, right. As a listing agent, like your marketing is always out there trying to attract, attract that next seller. Yep. Isn't it? Like you, it your is. marketing's never just taking a break, right? Like when you put your signs, like everything that you're doing is, is designed and whether you like it or not, Kevin, the, the, the next seller that might consider hiring you is watching, right? Yeah. That's why, I mean, man, my, Kevin, I talk about this recently all the time. My wife and I are looking for a, a, a property right now. And man, nothing like gets me just more suspect about a listing agent than photos. Right? Like, right. So something as simple as like the photos you take to represent your last listing are they are on display for anybody who might be thinking about hiring you. And a lot of, you know, the marketing that you guys are doing and the, you know, the tools that you deploy into your business are, you know, are, are being judged by your next potential seller. So do me a favor, like the, the group of you guys that's here, once you find the chat before Kevin and I jump in, I kind of throw my, my screen up to you guys and, and we start diving in on some of these tools. And then just let me know, because I do, there's a couple names on here I recognize, but are you guys a current Brevity client or are you here, you know, kind of maybe looking at what, what, what tools does Brevity offer to, to help me land my next seller, to help me impress, you know, some of those people that might be watching my next listing. So just check in for me really fast. Brevity client or no. Um, and just give me a little sense of, of the room. All right. Negative. Awesome. So Michael's here kind of checking out the scene. Maybe seeing if any of these tools might be. Um, Josh is down. He's he's making a choice here coming soon. Awesome, Josh. Well, hopefully I can sway in one direction or the other, my friend. Um, Janice, the client. So Janice here to 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 maybe be reminded of some of these things that right because Brimity's expansive. Um, Janice, there there's a lot going on here. So let's dive in. I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and we are going to talk, Kevin. Six tools, although I think it might be more than six. I my math skills were sharper earlier in my life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, knowing us, we probably released another one right while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we're no shortage of fun little tools around here. All right. Um, the first thing is just for me, it is Kevin. I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm coming up on my 20 here in the industry, and yeah. we've sent a lot of stuff over the years. Um, we, we've generated a lot of leads. We've, you know, we've, we've blogged and we, there's lots of ways that we've reached out to consumers, created content to try to attract them to us and nothing, Kevin, nothing even close in the 20 years that I've been doing this, like stacks up to the way that our, our past clients, our sphere and our seller prospects, like consume these market reports. They get opened at a really high level. You know, I'm, I'm actually a firm believer, Kevin. I, I believe this like to my core. Zillow would not exist in our industry today if our MLSs would have given us the, the tools back then so that Zillow comes on the scene in 2006. And I don't know how many of you guys have been in the industry since then, but back in 2006, Janeth, there was no way for you as a, as a real estate agent to deliver to your customer information about the properties that we're selling short of going into the MLS and like sending them one-to-one -to, -one to that person. There were no tools. The MLS did not allow us back then to tap into the sold, the, the sold component of the IDX feed way back then we could take active listings, Kevin, and we could, you know, just like we can do today, display them on a website or send them out to the listener but we couldn't give people sold data. And, you know, Zillow spotted that hole, right? They were like, well, that's strange. Why wouldn't MLS, let's just go get it. And they just went and got it from county recorders and they collected it from, you know, their public information or data sources, compiled it 
and then turned around and gave it to our consumers when we were sitting on that data the whole time. And, and they've built this billion dollar business, the most recognizable brand in real estate, by the way, like when they go poll consumers on the street. So these, our consumers wanted this before we were able to give it to them. 50 million visitors a month to Zillow when there's only 5 million home sales all year in the United States prove that our sellers are fascinated by this information, right? Like nothing informs, Calvin, their understanding of the value of their largest asset than what that neighbor's house sold for. And that's what our market reports do. So before we ever get at the kitchen table of the seller, Calvin, in our world, it's highly likely that seller has been being nurtured for some amount of time by us. You know, if I just got Brivity recently, Janice, maybe they've been being, mar- being nurtured by market reports for me for the last two months, however long it's been. Michael, if you don't have this, a tool of this nature, Joshua, if, if follow-up boss, he says between Brivity and follow-up boss, if they don't have this tool, right, what, what ends up happening is your, your customers, your clients, your past clients, your sphere – your seller prospects, Gavin, they're going to figure out what the neighbor's house sold for. But what, what's, where are they going to go? They're going to go to Zillow. They're going to go to a big box store to try to find that information. Redfin. Google. They'll just go to Google and Google, like, what my neighbor's house sell for. Home sales in Kenmore, where yeah. I live, right? They're going to find the, the neighbor's sale price. I promise you. And there's the potential they're going to they're going to find it in exchange for leaving their information on one of these websites, right? They're going to find it by ending up in some other agent's database. And we know there's two reasons why they want to know that information. I mean, either they want to sell their house or they just want to know the value of their current equity. Yeah. It gives us two opportunities to have a smart conversation with them. And, and Kevin, if they're not going to sell today, they're going to sell it eventually. Right. Sure. That house will sell again. Right, Bob? That house will sell again. Yeah, yeah. Just, we, there's a few things that, that we've learned over the years, Kevin. Most people live somewhere. Mm-hmm. The house will sell again, right? There's these kind of like true... Extensive, and, extensive research. Yeah. You get on those too. On those. <laughs> 20 years of research proves <laughs> people live somewhere and they sell their house eventually. <laughs> All right. So that, that's the, the market report tool. Now, once somebody raises their hand and we get, you guys, look, we have, I mean, look, in our place business, we have hundreds of thousands of these market reports going out to, the, to our databases. And every month, somewhere in one corner of our world, every single month, a consumer raises their hand and we, we like to call them, come list me, emails, texts, or calls, right? Come list me. They raise their hand and go, hey, Kevin, thank you so much. You've been sending me all this information about you know, what's going on in my neighborhood for three years. We're ready to list our house. Could you come out this week? And Kevin's like, if I could find my keys, I would be there like in a half hour. Yes, absolutely. I can come out this week. Now, it, when he does that, he's going to show up and he wants to be able to present to them a CMA. And so we have Brivity CMA and that tool, Kevin, allows us really easily to go in it's it's connected into your mls it's pulling all of your active pending and sold data in and and you can go in there and basically we do a cma based on what we call the 555 method of of pricing properties we pick five actives so you go in there and identify five similar actives five pendings you go in there and identify but again from the mls data and we can pull it up and you can filter through it and you find five pendings that are similar to that subject property that you're hoping to list, and then five closed or, or sold homes. And once you grab and, and identify, doesn't you can pick 14 of the 15, right? That, but once you've identified five, 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 then we run a little algorithm and we apply that algorithm to that data that you selected, and we give you an, a, a suggested list price. And the CMA is beautifully presented you know you can print it out or you can show up at the property with with it on your ipad or your your laptop email it over to them before you were going to head over there cma kevin we've got to have a tool that presents the pricing 
there is also, look, some of you guys come to us in different stages of your career. And Joshua, Michael, Cindy, I, I don't know like exactly, you know, what stage of your career in, but some of you guys might not have done a million like pricing presentations, or, or you might not have done that as a part of your listing presentation extensively. So not only do we give you this 555 CMA method, we, we've got a lot of training around like how to present that to the, to the consumer. And so we've got videos of Ben Kinney or uh, one, of our, one of our favorite trainers, Chad Himes, going in and actually doing this, this kind of 555 presentation to the consumer and, and the wording that we use when we present the actives and the wording that we use you know, calling the, the pendings or the actives your competition and, and calling the pendings that the people that want that are, right, are already where we want to be, which is they have an offer on their house that hasn't closed yet. And then the solds and there's, you know, there's an actual methodology to how you present this 555. So we don't just give you the software. In fact, Kevin, you know, we make a super bold claim, I think, in the top right hand corner of every one of our slides today. That is the only system that guarantees success in real estate. That's the bold claim. Um, the reason that we feel comfortable making that claim is we're not just giving you software, right? We're giving you the training. Like we have teams on the ground. Ben Kinney has 110 teams that he partners with across the country. I meet with these teams every single month to, to figure out how are they, Kevin, you meet with half of them and I meet with half of them, right? And we're in there trying to figure out how, how are we best utilizing this these tools. So we bring that training back to you guys. We give you all of our plans. We like, we'll totally open the kimono on, on our business and you guys can take as much or as little of it as you want. In fact, we also give you the Ben Kinney team's listing presentation. It's an editable document that you can go in. And one of the secrets of our listing presentation, Michael, is we will, will embed into that listing presentation, these tools, so our sellers, by the time we're done with the listing presentation, they, they've obviously seen the CMA. They were getting the market report. That's probably what landed us at their kitchen table, Kevin, right? But all these other tools we're going to talk about, we bring them up throughout the listing presentation. And we give you guys that listing presentation. It's something you can download. Uh, for somebody like you, Janice, that's already a Brevity client, Inside of the CRM, if you go and hit the little question mark up in there, you could you could type in uh, listing presentation and, and you can find the path. And if you have a hard time, just reach out to our support team. They can get you the listing presentation if you're already a Brevity client. And again, it's fully editable. It's a it's a you know a, a slide basically, and, and you can change out your logo and, and whatever you need to do. But it's based on these tools. All right, Kevin, continuing on. So what? The Brevity has custom websites, okay? And, and you're going to end up with a website that, that doesn't look like anybody else's. And we call them 99% customizable. You can, uh, you can customize just about everything but kind of the, the property detail pages and the search result pages because those are where the lead conversion happens. And so we kind of keep control of that stuff. But everything else can be customized. But we will bring this up at the listing presentation to let them know that when we list their property, and we, we use some very specific language, you can watch us give the listing presentation too. There's, there's plenty of videos of Ben doing that, or Ryan or Anthony or some of the people on Ben's teams. But when we want them to know that we're going to put in their hands resources that they can use to turn around and share with, with the people they know right? That they can post on their own social media, that they can, if at all possible, Kevin, when we are at their, their house or, or before that potentially, right? We, we want to try to get them to go look at the website. And one of the reasons that, look, we want as many people in our database to have just spent one second. That's all they need to be there, Kevin, for is one second on our website. So, you know, that could be that, Every time we do a, a local event, we build a page on the website and we, we put the registration or the sign up on that page and we drive traffic to there. Or, you know, we're constantly sending listing alerts out to our database to let people know about what's, you know, what's newly on the market and what's for sale. Or sometimes like literally sitting with a seller on their computer, we'll say, listen, why don't you bring my website up on your computer? I just want to show you, you know, we're going to give you some, 
some links. We'll give you a link to the your actual listing on our website when it when it um, goes live, and, and we want you to be able to share that on your Facebook so some of your friends you know might see it or, or somebody they know might be interested in moving into the neighborhood, right? But but there's an ulterior mode. It's not that look your website's going to look cool. Okay, we, we do a really good job with the websites and our design team is, is really strong. But that, that's, that's not, we don't really necessarily care, Kevin, they see how cool our website looks. What we no. want, right? And here's another example of a custom website. And this is an agent down in Prescott, Arizona. And <laughs> that's not him on the horse, Kevin, but that could be Travis Bard. That could be Travis, cowboy. sure. He's a cowboy, mm -hmm. right? And his, his website represents like kind of who he is all the way down to like the quill pen style writing of the word Prescott. Um, here, here's why we want them on our website. So we, we do at Brivineer, we offer it something that you can engage our team to help you get set up. What we call Brivity Connect, and there's three components of it. And the first component is that we, we go out and, and help you get leads. And why that's important to your sellers or why, why you having this in your business is important to your sellers is I want to be able to sit down with my seller and say, listen, we are constantly spending money to attract buyers. And so when we, when we have your house listed, we've already got a pool of buyers in, in, in the building. Now, I'm going to show them to you in a little bit. And that's part of one of these tools here. But we've got a pool of buyers already. And then every day we are out aggressively marketing our listings to try to attract more potential buyers into our database because we don't know when these people are going to buy. A lot of people get on the internet, they start looking a year or two years before they're actually going to buy. So we're constantly marketing to find those buyers so that we've always got ready, willing, and able buyers in our, in our database. So we, we do these Facebook campaigns. We're constantly, you know, marketing your property. M Mrs. Seller, have you, do you, have you heard of Facebook? Do you guys use Facebook? Of course you do. Okay. Oh no, you don't, but your son's always on there. Yeah. Right. We're going to make sure that, that your property is marketed on Facebook because we've got these campaigns running always. Now, one of the things that we do, because we have all these buyers previously in our database, Kevin, and, and a lot of those buyers, and I'm going to show you this in a little bit, uh, Kevin, yep. but a lot of those buyers have looked at particular properties. In fact, many of them have looked at a property just like yours. So what we do is when somebody comes to our website, that beautiful website I showed you a couple minutes ago, when they come to our website and they look at a property, let's say a property here in Kenmore, Kevin, like if I was sitting at your house here in Kenmore and it was going to be a you know, million dollar listing here in Kenmore, Kevin, if they come to my website and they look at a million dollar listing in Kenmore or a million dollar listing in Lake Forest Park or Bothell, right, anywhere around here. We're going to follow them around Facebook and we're going to put other, we're going to put your property in front of them. We're going to put properties in front of that person to try to drive them back again so that we can connect them with your listing. Based on their habits. Based on what they are looking at. This is called dynamic pro. We call it dynamic property targeting. But I want to be able to explain to my seller, we are constantly marketing to Facebook all the time. You know, it's the most trafficked, website app in the world, right? So we want to make sure that your property is represented there. Now, sometimes people aren't on Facebook. In fact, man, you said you don't use Facebook, right? Or Kevin, you don't use Facebook. You said your son does, but you like to go on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or Wall Street Journal or ESPN.com or, you know, you, you go on these apps and websites. This is the real reason why at some point in the listing presentation, I want them to pull my website up on their computer you guys yeah if we can get them to pull my website up on their computer Kevin, we can we can cookie their browser and we can follow them around the internet essentially right we can and get then, as soon as you leave they start looking and all of a sudden bob is showing up That's all right. over their vogue and fox news feeds. That's right, Kevin. we don't mm -hmm. care Kevin. like seriously we do not care like there's a lot of political kind of um, division in our country these days. We don't care. If they lean right and watch Fox News, Kevin, we will put Kevin Weber right up in front of them on Fox News. If right. they lean left and they like MSNBC, Kevin will be there like, hey, here I am too. We're and open opportunity. Journal and, 
and you know the Washington Post and your local paper, like Kevin. I think yours is the Austin Statesman Journal or something there in Austin, Very right? Close. Like, yeah. Is that close? Statesman something. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you know you'll be on that local newspaper when they go to pull that website up, and after a while, Kevin, your sellers are going to be like, "Man, this Kevin dude is everywhere, right? He's everywhere." Now, a lot of our of our prospects are, especially our our you know our seller leads. They've been on our website, so they've been getting followed around by our marketing. So a lot of times when we go to sit down for the listing, they will say, oh, no, yeah, Kevin, I, I see you everywhere, man. You're like, you must spend a million bucks a year on advertising. You're like on the Wall Street Journal? Holy smokes. And Kevin's like, yep, yep, that's me. But really what Kevin's saying is, yep, yep, that's me marketing specifically to you because we can target you because you were on our website. This is really powerful stuff. Um, it, this helps in lead conversion, you know, but it definitely helps with, with our seller prospects, just seeing our, that, that kind of what to them seems like really extensive, must be really expensive marketing taking place. All right. Janet, thank you. Our support team. I, I agree. I think they're pretty amazing. Now I, I'm, you know, biased of course, but I, they, they care. I know that much. I, the, a lot of the people on our team, all of them, they, they care um, a lot. So thank you for, for recognizing that. Um, all right, next up, the next tool. So we've, well, we've, uh, we've hit on the market report tool, which is how we're going to get report, there. Yep. Yeah, We're I mean, telling we're people gonna... what's happening in their market, right? We're, we're getting them interested. They're, they're finally looking to let us in the door. They get in the door. We have the CMA tool available to them. That. Right now they have the CMA tool and we're having a conversation with them. We're getting them to log into our website. We're showing them we can follow people around once we have their leads. So now we get their listing. Yeah. We've got, yeah. We've got that listing now and we can still do more promotion here. Maybe we use the Ben Kinney team listing presentation and we tweaked it to our to our market, right? It's something you get through through Brevity when you become a Brevity client. All right. So we've got the listing. We've got the listing. Now, we're, we're going to deploy what we what quickly is the name of this, this tool in our tool belt. And quickly, um, K-W-K-L-Y, but it's, it's a it, – it quickly. Remember, the old, want them to phones, quickly... the old school phones, Bob, if you look at the keypad and the way that the, the letters are, that's 59559 is – That's right. It's quickly. That's right. And, and it's the, the idea was that consumers driving by your listing could quickly get information that they needed about that listing, specifically the price and the photos. And traditionally, Kevin, you know this, traditionally, we've delivered that information with a flyer. And um, always, <laughs> like when it's your listing, especially, right, always. The flyer box is empty uh, day one, maybe into day two. Your seller's calling you, Kevin. They're like, Kevin, we need more flyers. And you're like, oh, yeah, let's, yeah, I'll get out there. Can't you just print them out from your own computer and go stick them out in the box? Or, right. you know, the, the, they disappear. We don't know who took them, Kevin. We don't know if, you know, we put 25 out there. Like, was that 25 potential buyers? Or was that like the neighborhood kids grabbed all in one group and went out and started a, you know, a bonfire with them at the park? Like, yeah, we so we stopped using flyers, and we we use quickly and quickly. Basically, what we do is we take a a rider, but not a traditional like six inch by twenty four inch rider that would sit on the arm bar or, or hang under the sign cabin. We actually use like an eighteen by twenty four rider that stakes in the ground next to our main listing sign, and. The call to action is, you know, to get the, you know, to, to get the current price and see all the pictures, text Ben Kinney to 59559, text Dream Key. Kevin, I think is your keyword to 59559. Text, you know, text Joshua to 59559. Text Janeth to 59559. Text ATX. Kevin, you're down in Austin. Maybe you'd pick a keyword like ATX, right? Ooh, that's a good one. We, when they do that, we get their cell phone number. Now, Kevin, again, you're, you're an agent and, and you, you know this. 
that first day, Kevin, when you go put the sign out in that yard and you, you will get a lead or two, a lot of times, who do those leads end up coming from? The neighbor. The neighbor. Yeah, they see that. They see the for sale sign, the, the coming soon sign or the for sale sign go up. Then they see the quickly sign. And even before they call the number that's on the for sale sign, they hit that quickly code. They feel like it's safer. And yeah. boom, you start getting all the people that are walking around the neighborhood. But Kevin, it's not just a lot of times. Now, look, you, sometimes you just get the looky loose, right? But, but sure. a lot of times it is a neighbor curious about what their neighbors just listed their house for because right. they're thinking about selling themselves, right? And this is a... This is an audition. We're like auditioning as they walk their dog in the neighborhood and we've got our new, newly listed sign out there with that text call to action, right? When they, when they text that to see what the neighbor's house listed for, because they were thinking, man, if, if, man, if there are people in our neighborhood are getting 600,000 now or 800,000 or whatever your price points are in your neighborhood, right? Like we'd consider selling if, you know, it's time for us to head to Mesa or whatever, wherever your people retire to, right? If, it's a showcase for you, yep. right? If they, if they, if they, they make that text and you can get a call to them really fast and they're like, Oh my gosh. Um, wow. You're, you're fast. Right. You say, yeah, yeah. We're super fast. Cause we got to make sure that everybody that drives by or, or, or has any interest in this house, we get them inside to, to take a look. Did you guys want to get inside and take a look? You know, people normally text for one or two reasons, either, they're in the area and they're curious about like buying that house or they live nearby and they're curious what their own home is worth. Which one are you? And when we use that script, we get a fair number of people saying, Oh no, you know, I just live in the neighborhood and I was walking by and I just, I was kind of curious how this thing worked. And then I also wanted to see what the neighbor's house sold for. That's a great, great opportunity, right? Such a golden opportunity. That's how you start to dominate a neighborhood, Kevin, is when you get a seller, right? You, you treat them like, like a buyer so they can see how you would handle buyers who were maybe inquiring later about your, their house once. And as they're walking there. around the neighborhood, they're going to see just for sale signs at the other houses, not all these additional calls to action and different ways of capturing their buyers. Yeah, you got it, man. I love that. They're going to realize this, this agent does something different. Now, the coolest thing about the quickly leads, the oh. leads that come from this, Kevin, is yeah. I can, I've been, I told you 20 years, I'm, I'm coming up on 21 years in real estate. I can remember the first time Bill Gates signed up on our website. Barbara Lasky, when Bill Gates, like this was 2003, yeah, 2003, yeah. We, we, our little office was in Bellevue, Washington, Kevin, and Redmond, Washington, where Microsoft is. I could throw a rock from our office to Microsoft. Like it was pretty close. And, you know, it was early in the internet, right? 2003. And we were one of the only websites in Washington that had listings online. There was a handful of websites. So to me, it wasn't that crazy that Bill Gates signed up, you know? I was like, I ran down to my partner's office, Jonathan. He teases me to this day about this, but I ran down there. I'm like, hey, you see this, man? Bill Gates signed up on our website. And he's like, what? And, and I'm like, seriously, look. And I'm taken back into our CRM. We had one way back then even, right? I'm like, look, Bill Gates. And he's like, no, no. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, look at the email address. Like, this isn't right. It's not Bill Gates, man. Like, this is just a, a, a bogus lead. You know, and over the years, Kevin, and he was right, by the way, but Bill Gates signed up lots of times on our website. And so did Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Cindy Allen, F you, that guy, he shows up on everybody's website, right? He signs up on all the websites. We get fake leads all the time. We've never once had a fake quick lead. Like not one time. No. You've maybe had something over the years where like the kid did it on the mom's phone or something, right? But like, when somebody texts your keyword to 59559, you have that most valuable piece of, of, you know, of, of real estate, as it were, like that contact yeah, information the on the cell phone number is gold. It's absolutely and, and, gold. In most cases, we can even capture the first name and last name. Yeah. Yeah. We run a little, we run a little deal across it. And when All that right phone idea. number comes in, that text message comes in, Kevin, from quickly. Yeah. yeah. 
we go and and you know hit a little I don't know whatever a little uh, caller ID I guess yeah caller ID magic and we and we give you guys a name for them nice you know what's interesting about your story Bob is Michael Dell signed up on my website <laughs> Dell there you go <laughs> that's right you're down in that neck of the woods <laughs> um, you know we we've all had a fake lead right yeah. Somebody posted a thing yesterday in our Burmity Mastermind. I think it was Burmity Mastermind. And like they had Snoop Dogg was in their, in their database. Like some agent right. was like, can we, Snoop Dogg, like can we just talk about this? She's got Snoop Dogg in her database? Probably not, right? Probably not. Bradford, the awesome part about Quickly is you have one keyword and you keep that keyword on every single sign. And then what we do is when they, when they text the keyword we tap into the GPS location of their phone and we, um, sorry, Cindy Allen, Snoop Dogg's like my favorite um, rapper ever. And so just even you saying that like caught me off, like I had to walk, read it. So uh, no more Snoop Dogg comments. Uh, <laughs> you get the same keyword, Bradford. It goes on every sign. And then based on when that consumer makes the query, we decide, we determine where they're at and we, we give them information based on the GPS location of their phone. So you guys, you pick a keyword in the beginning, go out and get your signs made. And then like, if you have a team, Bradford, what we can do is quickly can figure out based on the property that the, that the consumer queried, we can send the lead to the right agent on the team based on who, who the listing agent is, either the primary or the co-listing agent in the MLS. Um, so quickly can route the lead, even though you guys maybe on a team are all using the same keyword, we can route the lead to the appropriate agent um, to make sure that, that you know, the, the right person's fielding that thing. And if, you, if you're a current client and you're not, you're not sure you're set up right, you can reach out to our support team and they can make sure that, that quickly is dialed in for you in terms of um, that. But it sounds, Bradford, like you might be considering – Brivity, or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, current clients, awesome. Yeah, reach out. You probably have a keyword as part of the um, the setup phase or whatever. You would you would come across that. Assuming you're, you know, the, if you're a light customer, just the website CRM, you you might not have quickly, but something you could add on pretty easily. All right, awesome, Bradford. Awesome. Thanks for coming today to this. We appreciate it. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn, but. I just take it step by step and it's kind of one of those awesome, awesome. It's one of those, like, <laughs> there is a lot to learn. So you just, you know, just, I guess the way you'd eat an elephant, the, the way we used to talk about it, right, Kevin? We eat elephants right. one bite at a time. We don't just try to- A little bit at a time. All right. So um, everybody's got listing alerts and look, guys, for a seller, um, like we're not necessarily, I don't even know in the listing presentation if we pitch the idea of listing alerts, but here's why I bring it up in this call here, right? We want to get as many people in our database on a listing alert as possible. And in fact, when we bring a new team into place, Kevin, which is, you know, they're partnering with Ben Kinney and Chris Suarez at place and, and they're, we're bringing these teams in and these are you know, highly functioning teams that are minimum, they're doing a hundred transactions a year. They um, have pretty decent sized databases. I think the smallest one I've ever seen is three, 3,000 or 3,500 or something. You know, some of them have 10, 12, 15,000. Yes. Yeah. They, we immediately in the first month that we, uh, that we are engaged in working with that team, we're going to get 20% of the database on a listing alert. And in the next month or two, we're going to do as much as we can to press towards 50% of our database being on a listing alert, Kevin. Yeah. And it is not unheard of on some of our teams where up over 80% of the database is engaged and being sent a listing alert. And so well, like Bradford- and buyers, right? Both, both yeah. sellers and buyers are, are, are on them. Well, definitely the buyers. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to sellers, we're, some of them are going to probably have a market report. They're not all going to have a listing alert necessarily, but so Bradford, I don't know what you're, you're saying, like you're learning the thing. I'm assuming you're a relatively new brevity client and it's highly likely you, you didn't just show up with nothing, right? You probably had a database. You, you might've had, came from somewhere else. Um, new brevity client, but did you have a database, Bradford? Like, did you guys 
come from somewhere to even have like if you have old leads of any kind okay we yep. get them on a list alert and like if we're like i don't even know where this person came from this person's in my database i'm not sure cool they're gonna get a generic listing alert then for my market whatever that is kevin like down in austin for you that might be a listing alert for the city of austin between 600 and 900 thousand or um I'm I'm totally ballpark. I'm home buyers. Yeah, that's that's about right. First time, okay. Uh, you know, like so we do it at the average price point of our market. So, yes. like in Bellingham, where Ben sells, it's Bellingham. You know, five hundred to eight hundred thousand. My mom sells in Olympia, Washington, but there's two major cities down there: Olympia and Tacoma. So her generic alert is Olympia, Tacoma, uh, four hundred to six hundred thousand. By the way, all of these alerts are up 20% since last year, right? <laughs> we had different numbers last year that our alerts were on, but here's why it's, we, we want as many people being driven back to the website as possible, okay? So we are just, we are going to, even if they didn't ask for it, we're going to give them one, even if it's not exactly what they want, because here's what will happen. When, when we set up a thousand listing alerts, Kevin, or a hundred even, or 10, but like, well, let's say we set up a thousand, right. Or a hundred of the, somebody will reply to those and be pissed. Don't be like, they're just one of those people, you know, and like you could have walked by them on the street with five bucks, Kevin, and be like, here, take this. And they'd be like, well, I don't need your money. What do you, you think I need your money? Right. They're just one of those people. So you send them a list and they're, they reply in all caps and lost exclamation points. And they're like, leave me alone. Where did you get my email? I'm going to report you to somebody. And we're just like, next, whatever, no biggie. But somebody else, two or three somebodies will say, hey, we're not looking in Austin. We're looking in Round Rock. Or I don't know what your neighboring towns are down there, Kevin. Yeah. Um, or they'll say, Hey, Kevin, can you stop sending us like two and three bedroom houses? We got to have four bedrooms. We got a bunch of kids and you're like, okay, cool. Or they'll say, Kevin, you know, we're actually looking at a higher price point at 1.4 million. Can you send us properties up there? And you're like, absolutely. A bunch of them will just say nothing. They will just come back to our website. They will just come back to our website. Now, here's why it's important. And here's how we're going to tie it back to these sellers, right? When we are sitting with a seller, actually, let's just, here, I'm going to go in. Go live. Ooh. Let's just He's go going in. I'm going to go right into, mm -hmm. I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into Ben's database in Bellingham. This is their database up in Bellingham. They've got a boatload of, of listing alerts going out of this database a boatload and um here this is a guy I, I was doing this last night all right let's say i had my property i was gonna list it i'm going into the the, the lady's house cabin I'm, I'm i've sat down i got her because she was walking the neighborhood and she saw my other listing from last month and right and hit my quickly sign yeah okay I'm, I'm sitting down with her i've i'm, I'm going through the the Ben Key listing presentation, and this is part of the listing presentation, is we talk to them about how we are going to reach out to people in our database because we got a whole bunch of buyers in our database that have looked at properties just like theirs. Then I'm just going to pull it up. I'm going to go into my database and I'm going to say, ma'am, when we, when we take this listing and, and we're going to talk later about the suggested price, it's going to be somewhere between seven and 800,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our, into our database. We're gonna pull up everybody who's looked at a property in Bellingham between seven and 800,000, and we're gonna call them all. We're gonna call every single one of these people that have been on our website. And we don't care if they were on our website seven days ago or seven months ago. We're gonna call them and we're gonna ask them if they'd be interested in coming to take a look at your property because we know recently in the past, they were looking at properties just like yours on our website and then ma'am when we're done we're gonna we're gonna go in here here we go then then after that we're gonna go in and we're gonna call all the people that looked at a property in ferndale because it's right next to bellingham and and maybe some of those people that looked in ferndale would consider buying in bellingham if we could get them a really awesome house like yours 
So our commitment, and one of the reasons that, that, that you would want to work with a team like ours is we've got agents on the ground that are willing to go call all these people. So I've got three agents back in my office right now. Once we take your listing, we're going to get in here tomorrow morning. We're going to pull up those 338 people in Bellingham. We're going to call every single one of them. And then if none of them want to go see the house today, we're going to call these people in Ferndale. And we could go do this for three other cities right there in Whatcom County too and pull up another couple hundred people in Blaine and in Linden and in Sumas. Okay. We might even do something like, I know one of the agents will, will back into this. So they'll start by, by doing something like, look, in the last 30 days, this is one of the reasons that we have all these listing alerts going, like thousands of them, many of them to people that are not buying or selling anytime soon, Kevin. Yeah. Right? But so think about alerts this. They're a great job of driving the person right back to the website. And then you'll them know. In, log yeah. them in automatically so I can see. Log, log them in. That. They don't need to remember the username and password. We just drive yeah. right in there and log them in. They've had 1,400 people on their website in the last 30 days. So they'll start by doing something like, listen, we got a lot of active buyers. A lot of them. In fact, in the last 30 days, we've had 1,400 buyers looking at properties on our website. And then they would do that. Now, we're going to list your property somewhere between seven and 800,000, right? We're going to talk about that at the end of the listing presentation today. But I want to show you guys. And I would encourage you to, if you were going to interview any other agents to ask them, do they have this? Because most agents don't, okay? But I want to show you guys, not, not only have we had 1,400 people in the last 30 days on our website, We've had 338 that have been looking at properties in Bellingham at the price that we're going to list your house. We're going to call them all, right? And then we would go in and, and run and show them that specific query that I had pulled up when we started. Guys, that, this is how you wow a seller, right? You show them, I got a database, but I can't build a database like that unless I have leads coming in. That's why we got all the Facebook leads coming in, right? I got quickly out, so I'm getting leads that way, right? But once they're in, I got to get them on that listing alert so that I can start to have this kind of data in the back of the CRM to be able to showcase to a seller. Now, how am I going to call them, Kevin? That's a lot of calls to make. Yeah. Right? Listen, one of the ways, Miss Seller, that we're that we that we make these calls is is not only are we great marketers. Not only are we really good at pricing properties, not only do we take the best photos in town, we're super efficient in the way that we run our business. And so we use a dialer inside of our CRM. In fact, when I get in here and I, and I pull up your, all your people in Bellingham, right? I come back here. I'll just show you guys this really quick so you can kind of see how it works. But, you know, 700 to 800,000. I'm just going to do it for anybody, right? In Bellingham. And what do we see? 300 and some odd in there, whatever that number was, right? There we go, 338. Here's what I'm going to do, ma'am. We're just going to go in here and, and select 50 at a time, and we're just going to call them. We're going to hit that start button. It's going to call me on my cell phone, and then it's just going to dial through this list of the 50 people. And when I call them, what I'm going to say, uh, Miss Seller, is, hey, this is Bob Stewart with the Ben Kinney team here in Bellingham, Barry. We've got a brand new listing that just hit the market and it's real similar to some of the listings that you've been looking at recently on our website. We wanted to see if you wanted to be the first one to get out there and take a look inside, Barry. Maybe even be the first one to be able to get an offer in. In this crazy market, wouldn't you love to be the first one in the door, Barry? And if Barry says no, we're going to call Len and then we're going to call Tom, then we're going to call Jack and then we're going to call Susan and Linda and Chris. And here's something we've learned, you guys, Robert, the, the, you could take these slides, but the listing presentation itself has these things built into it. So you probably want the listing presentation, but if you want to email me, Bob at Ben Kinney, I'd send you these slides, I don't care. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna call these people. Here's something we've learned, you guys, and we don't necessarily like spout this kind of thing at a seller, but we, we've learned that if you are in your database making a hundred phone calls, 
it takes you on average 20 seconds, Kevin, to transition from the end of your last call to the phone ringing on your next call. So you hang up, you go in here, you, you go like this, you type into your phone 408-420-1635 and you hit dial and it starts ringing. From the time you hung up the last phone call until the time the next call starts ringing, on average, it's 20 seconds. The crazy thing is when we time people in the beginning, they take like eight to 12 seconds. They're really fast because they know they're being timed. Like we've watched our, our own agents do this and we time them they like to be in time. They get done. They get in there. They dial as fast as they can. They call and they're like, oh, contest. 10 seconds. I got it. Right. And then, and then they remember. But by the end of the hundred calls and it, and it starts happening around call 20 to 25, all of a sudden it's taken them 20 seconds to transition. By the end, they're taking 30 to 35 second transitions from call to call even though they know they're being timed, they've slowed down considerably. Now here, think about this for just a second. We have one lady in Bellingham who in a month will make, in fact, I'll show you here. She'll make a thousand dials. I don't want you guys to think I make this stuff up. So let's just show you. Here she is right at the top, Katie Centinella. She uses the dialer all the time. She makes a thousand dials a month on the dialer. We know that Katie saves 20 seconds every call. That, that Robert if, or Bradford, if you guys are making manual dials in your database, you spend those 20 seconds going to look up the next number, punching it in, hitting, right? It doesn't seem like that much, but, but let's do the math on Katie really quick, you guys. Over the last 30 days, these 1,027 dials. So if, if she's saving 20 seconds to dial, every three dials, she saves a minute. So if she had 1,027, right? Divided by three. She saved 342 minutes last month, Kevin. Yep. Not dialing the phone, you guys. 342 minutes. Not only that, Bob, but the fact that the um, contact record is going to pull up and it's, we're going to have the notes and everything's already available when you use a dialer. Otherwise, you're going to have to go into the contact record, open that record, open the call record, go into the notes. We're talking four, five, seven, seconds as well every call we have yeah we have people tim fenner for example he manually dials all his calls he punches them in his phone logs them in brevity which is fine right but man if katie did that it would have taken her 5.7 more hours than it took her to make these thousand dials so she got back five five hours this month you guys dialing the phone that seems 10 seconds seems like nothing. 20 seconds seems like nothing. But Katie literally would have spent an extra five hours making the calls she made into her database last month. That's how we're going to go in. And that's how we're going to call all the people that have been on our website looking at properties like the listing that we're about to take. All right. Moving on. I love the dial. I just... I. I see inside enough of our databases that I know that the people that are really good at getting through their database are people using the dialer. It's just, it's just the, the case. All right. Smart transaction auto plan. So Brevity was originally built and today it's expansive and there's lots of features, but it was originally built as a transaction management platform for Ben Kinney's business. And as he was growing, and he realized he was bringing agents into his team, he wasn't always going to be the one delivering on the promise to the customer. Right, Kevin? In the beginning of his business, he was the one that sat down at their kitchen table, he made the promises, and then he went home and did the work to deliver on those promises. And then he brought Jolene on and he was going and making the promises and it was him and Jolene delivering the promise. But as the team grew, he knew that, first off, it in the beginning, it was still him making the promises, but he wasn't delivering on them. And then later, it wasn't even him making the promises anymore, but the promises were being made with his name on the line and his reputation on the line. Sure. And so we built Brivity to make sure that every promise that we were making to our sellers, we could document, detail, and execute on transaction after transaction the same plan. Right? 
we go do this listing presentation and we tell them these are all the things that we're going to do to get your household. We had to then be able to come back and make sure all those things were done and done to the level that Ben was comfortable putting his name on it, even when he wasn't the guy out there doing it anymore. Our smart transaction auto plans today are extensive and we have, we have one lady in Bellingham, Tessa, that will manage like 800 transactions this year. Now she's got some VAs that, that will help her and that we bring into the business, especially in the summertime when there's lots more volume and, but guys, most teams take three, four, five admins, ops people to, to manage that many transactions. We do it on the back of efficiency, right? We do it on the back of efficiency. The, the transaction auto plans basically allow for us to lay out and detail the tasks that our people need to do to get through the transaction. They allow us to automate communication that happens along the course of the transaction. So for example, we can go in and automatically have a text message, go to our seller the day before their inspection, Kevin, that lets them know, hey, your the, the buyer's inspection is tomorrow. It's at 3 p.m. Here's the name of the inspector and their cell phone number. Please reach out if you need to reschedule, if you have any problems, right? And we can automate that. And we can automate a whole bunch of things kind of based on this concept of, of roles and dates, Who's doing what and when does it need to be done? And we can automate communication around those things. Like 182 steps in a single transaction. Yeah. That's and way too many states, for us to try to remember. Yeah. Yes. And so what happens is your customer gets an inconsistent experience if you don't have the experience documented. Exactly. And, and, if, you, and if you're trying to build anything that you want to scale, like today you do 10 deals, next year you want to do 20. There's only two ways to do that. Yep. You work twice as long, twice as many hours, twice as hard, or you get more efficient, right? Like you, you cannot scale a big business by working, by always working twice as much, Kevin, because you started with 10 deals this year. You want to do 20, then you want to do 40, then you want to do 80. Like you're just going to double the number of hours you work for the next five years. Like that's just... Like it will become a physical impossibility. You have it's only to a finite efficient. amount of hours in a day as well. That's right. So that's right. Yeah. Now, the the real reason like that this matters to your seller is everything we do during the transaction, you, you're gonna know about it and we're gonna communicate it back to you. I was go I went through last night, I was looking, I went and pulled up Ben Kinney team's um, reviews on Zillow. Uh, in, in their seller side reviews, and the, we do we can do the same thing. We manage transactions for a buyer, but the the process of managing transaction for a seller is much longer. Um, almost every single one of those reviews had some mention of the communication. They did such a good job communicating. Um, it was like the perfect amount of communication. I I talked to them once a week, but every day they let me know what was going on. Like. All of that stuff is coming out of these transaction auto plans. And every time that our agents check off or our, our TCs or our, our directors of ops check off something that they've done for that buyer or seller, at the end of every day, we roll all that up. We send them an email. We say, hey, here's what's been done. They have a portal they can log into to see what's been done so far to get my house sold. That portal includes, we will showcase to them everywhere the property is, is advertised. Now, Kevin, like the property gets advertised on you know, a thousand websites, right? Because we stick it in the MLS. Yep. But most agents don't even take the time to show their bot, their seller, like, hey, here's everywhere your property's marketed. We do. Why? Because the Brevity Transaction Portal makes it really easy for us to, to stack up and showcase the Zillow, the, the Redfin, the Realtor.com, the the kellerwilliams.com, the coldwellbanker.com, the exp.com, like all the windermere.com, John L. Scott, all the websites that their properties showcased on. We want them to know that we're the one that got it there showcased on all these properties. We didn't do nothing but put it in the MLS, but they don't need to know that. And it's highly likely they don't know that, Douglas Ramos, right? They don't know how we got their property into a thousand websites. And in the listing presentation, we really position that hey, we're going to make sure that your, that your property is showcased on all the big national portals, Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, 
homes.com. We're going to make sure that your property is showcased on all the major national and international brokerage sites, Keller Williams, KW.com, ColdwellBanker.com, Remax.com. We're also going to make sure your property is highlighted on all the, the local brokerage sites, Windermere.com, John L. Scott, Skyline Properties, the Mohawk Group, which is a local company up here in Bellingham, but they sell a lot of houses. So we're going to make sure that your property is showcased on their website. Kevin, we don't just go, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take your property. We're going to stick it in the MLS and it's going to go to a bunch of sites. Go everywhere. <laughs> That's actually what happens. We're, we're going to do the same thing you do, Jana. We're going to do the same thing you do, Bradford. We're going to do the same thing you do, Angelica. But we're just going to position it to our customers in a way where they're like, holy cow, Kevin does so much work for us. And then we're going to show it to them because Brevity can easily help us showcase it to them. This will be the last thing. So be, I'll, I'll jump over to Brivity Marketer. Listen, if you're on the call right now and you guys want to talk to one of our, our people, get you could dive into the tools deeper, talk about pricing. Just pull your phone out right now and send a message to the number 59559. So the who are you texting? 59559. What are you texting? The message, just text platform. And that'll send you back a link where you can go book on the calendar of one of our team and, and talk pricing. We have pricing from really affordable at the light, which is like you have one agent, you just want the website, the CRM, up to um, more expensive pricing as you have a much larger team who's consuming more services and data and, and you know cell phone usage and, and text usage and all those things that we kind of have nominal payments for. Uh, that, those are your valuation sites, Robert. So if you're a current Brevity client, your, the, the valuation sites are built now into your website, um, your website.com slash home value. The, the, va the BVS is like brevity valuation sites is what that stands for. Um, all right, let, let's, let's go back and let's finish up with brevity marketer, but I'm going to take us over here to brevity marketer and what brevity marketer is, is it's, it's exactly what it sounds like, but it is, a way for you guys to market your listings or listings. They don't have to be yours. They could be somebody in your office. They could be somebody, you know, that you got permission to, to market their listing, but we, we are connected into the MLS and we automatically pull in your listing data so that you guys can easily make, easily make marketing. That's awesome. Okay. Easily make marketing. That's awesome. So you can make direct mail marketing. You can do postcards. And, and in fact, we will queue up a just listed and a just sold postcard campaign for every single property you list. And every time you sell a property in the MLS, you don't have to send it, but they'll be sitting back there waiting for you to send if you want to in one click. And the, for as little as 69 cents, a postcard, which includes postage, USPS first class mail tracked all the way to their mailbox. You get a credit back for any return postcards. We, we can help you guys do direct mail marketing. We use an algorithm that targets the most, the best homes to send your postcard to. So Robert, if you were like, Hey, I'm, I'm going to send 200 postcards. We wouldn't just send them to like two, the nearest 200 houses. This is not like every door direct mail or something like you'd see from USPS. This is, I want 200 postcards. We say, okay. Listen, Robert, we're going to skip you to the neighbor because the neighbor just bought their house six months ago and they're still thinking about couches and curtains. We're going to target the guy five doors down that he moved in seven years ago. We know he's got a bunch of equity in his house. He's never refinanced, right? He's now got three kids. He had two when he started, which means he's about to outgrow that house. Like we use a bunch of public data to create an algorithm that says who's the best house to target. There's all sorts of other postcards. You guys can go draw on the map and say, I want to target this area. You can send to your own lists, right? You can go send your, your, you know, your monthly, hey, look how awesome I am, postcard to all your sphere. Or, you know, I don't know, what turn back the clocks. If you, I don't know, Kevin, do people still send turn back the clock postcards? I would hope not. I think that's been uh, eliminated. So I don't know <laughs> yeah. what real estate agents are going to send. We're Maybe they the need to start sending more market reports. We're on the verge of no, not of not having the, the yeah. change of clocks. Oh, no. Oh, right. <laughs> um, print media. 
You guys need to bang out a listed flyer, an open house flyer, an event flyer, because you're doing some kind of a, you're doing the, the farmer's market this weekend. Maybe you want to make a QR code for your open house sign-in sheet. Awesome. Super easy. It, like, look how easy this is. Watch this. I, and I don't know, uh, maybe I'll look really quick. at Going to the listings. Yeah, because every time you're in a listing and you click on those three dots, you get to choose all of the different types of. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll make use. a really quick, like if I wanted to make a flyer for this property, I just come in here and say, ooh, it's just listed. I'll do this flyer. Sweet. Just pulled in the house, pulled in all my info, 14, pulled in, boom, done, guys. Like that's how fast I just made this flyer. If I wanted to print a bunch of these out and go, you know, stick it in, in, around the neighborhood or at the, at the front one of my open house day or, and there's, a, you know, tons of templates and super easy. Like this stuff is super easy. The editors, we can edit that thing if we wanted to change the photo or, we got all the MLS photos are in there. We can easily in one click swap them out. We want to run Facebook digital ads. We got you. Right now, people are getting leads between two and three bucks a lead running these Facebook digital ads. It's super quick. In fact, we can see some of the ads that Cody's run. He's had ads that, you know, he paid 50 bucks and he got 39 leads. He's also, this is a, in process he's had some ads that just didn't hit but here's 50 dollars, 46 leads right sometimes you, you do stuff maybe in like a really high price point or something you don't get quite as many leads on them super easy facebook ads guys super easy uh this branding you see in here bradford you know most people see brevity it just says brevity um, in here this is not nothing the consumer sees on anything that you have Bradford, that a consumer sees, it has your branding in it. You guys see place branding back here because I'm logged into one of Ben's place teams. But like if you were a Remax agent, you would not see Remax branding on the back end. You would actually see Brivity branding, Bradford. Um, social media, you want to, so this is something that we will share. We'll say, hey, listen, Mr. Seller, we've got this awesome marketing suite. When we get your property listed, what we're going to do is we're going to give you all the graphics that you need to be able to post on your stories. I know you like to post Facebook stories, Mrs. Seller and Mr. Seller. I know you love Twitter, right? So I'm going to give you the, 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 the stuff you can post on Twitter. I'm going to give you, ma'am, the stuff that you can post on your stories and on your timeline on Facebook. So all your friends, all your coworkers, everybody knows that we've got your house listed. Maybe they've got somebody that wants to move into your neighborhood. Right, we can do easy videos here where we take all the MLS data and the photos, and we create these kind of videos where the photos move and there's nice music overlay, and you guys can edit those super easy. And then we've got marketing material. You guys wanted to order marketing materials? We have a company called Brandco that we partner with, and they can deliver marketing materials for you. So Brevity Marketer, it's real, this is you know, it's free, right? Like it's a part of the Brevity platform. So if you're a Brevity client, you get this. Now, if you were to do campaigns, right? Um, direct mail marketing campaigns or Facebook ad campaigns, you pay for whatever, you know, portion you decide to do. Those are self-serve. And, and we've got, we've got a, a, an individual's name is Jesse. He's a really sharp kid. He can help you guys run your first couple sets of Facebook ads in here. And he's helped lots of our Brevity clients get their, you know, their self-serve Facebook ads up and running. And those are things where you can spend, you can just decide to spend 50 bucks. You're like, I don't want to commit to a, you know, a $500 a month lead budget with, with Brivity. You could do that. Or you could say, you know, I, like I'm, I'm a little bit more comfortable spending, you know, $50 at a time on leads. And we, Jesse can help you guys get some really awesome campaigns that can generate a, a really good flow of leads. All right. There it is. It's brevity. We're, we're kind of a backdoor sales pitch in, in many ways, right? Letting you guys kind of explore and, and see and, and be showcased some of the tools that brevity offers. Look, if you're a brevity client today, dig, dig into these tools. And Kevin, we've got all sorts of training and stuff. Oh, yeah. Any brevity client can come into their brevity account, go right up here, go to brevity university there. We do live classes. Kevin, will have, he has a class coming up in an hour. That's, I don't know what the topic today is, but every single day we've got live classes showcasing different elements of the Brevity platform. There's all kinds of recorded courses or, or just straight videos in there that you guys can go watch. Reach out to our team, right? You can submit us a ticket or you can even come in here and 
I don't know where the chat is. Normally in the bottom right here, there's a chat function, but maybe it's not turned on for some reason. Anyway, reach out, reach out to our, our help desk. Uh, if you're not a client, hopefully you learned a little bit about what Brevity has going on here. Radford, awesome. Your wife's doing the university stuff. So she's probably hearing a lot of me and Kevin on her in her earbuds right now, but um, hopefully we, she, she learns plenty. Reach out if she needs anything else. You guys have an awesome second half of your week. Kevin, go out there and land that $2 million listing with all these awesome tools that Brevity has for you, my friend. Um, they, we need more listings in Austin. We need more listings everywhere, you guys. So hopefully these are some tools to help you find them. We'll talk to you guys later. Bradford, have an awesome afternoon. Janeth, Kimberly, Cindy, Walter, Zoe, Terry, Susan, Robert, Lauren. I'm sure I missed a bunch. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, have a great afternoon. <laughs>